In this video, I'm going to discuss how to quickly and accurately identify the network address, the first host, the last host, and the broadcast address for IPv4 subnets. It's important to be able to do this quickly and accurately when you're taking an exam because you don't want to spend too much time on any one question, but you don't want to do something inaccurately and lose the points for the question. An important note about this video is that it assumes the viewer has an understanding of subnetting and variable length subnet masks before watching the video. With that said, I will still talk a little bit about how an IP address is made up. The IP address has a total of 32 bits total, and those bits are divided into four 8-bit sections called octets. So that would be the first octet of 1 through 8, the second octet of 9 through 16, then 17 through 24 for the third octet, and 25 through 32 for the fourth octet. These octets have a repetition of 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1 in each octet. Since we know that repeats for every octet, we only really need to have it written once. So whenever I was practicing subnetting, I would write out the 1 through 32, and then the 128 through the 1. And then I would go to this awesome site by Todd Lamill for IP subnet practicing. Click on new problem and they'll toss something at you. Here we get a slash 17. So let's see where that 17 falls in the range. It's at the beginning of the third octet. So that means that this is going to be 255255255. Or actually, sorry, 255255. So we'll copy this out. And then we'll take this as well. And then for the last, we get 0, 1, 254, and 255. So we have to figure out this column. Let's bring this back up. We have to look at the repetition of the 128, blah, 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 right? So it's the first one. That means we're going to increment by 128. And we go 0 to 128 and pass the 89. So that tells us that this will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 127, and this will be 128. Sorry, 127. Right, because you want to take one away from the from the last number there. All right, we'll do another one. So for this one, we get a slash 25. Let's bring this back up again, right? 25 falls here. So we'll do 255, 255, 255. And then again, we check to see where that falls, and 25 is here, so we're going by 128. 0 to 128, and then we'll do 128 again, we're going to pass 177. So that lets me know that the bottom end of this will be 128. The top end of this will be 128 plus 128 minus 1, right? So that'll be 256, that'll be 255. Right? This will be 254, and this will be 129. Right, so we got it right here. We'll do one more. Let's get something that's less than 24 on, the, on that slash. All right, so we get a slash 19, right? Let's see where that falls. 19 is here, right? So 255, 255, that means these will carry down. And then this is going to be 0. 1, 254, 255, and then we get 199 in the middle. All right, so let's find out what we're going to be incrementing by. All right, so 19 is the 1, 2, 3 in on this octet. So 1, 2, 3 in. So we're incrementing by 32 without passing 199. All right, so we'll go here. And we'll put in 32 plus 32 plus 32 
plus 32, plus 32, plus 32. And if we did 32 again, we'd pass 199. So the bottom end is going to be 192. And then if we did plus 32 again, minus 1, it would be 223. Right, so you always go, you, you, the first thing you do is you look at what your slash is and you figure out where that falls in the range. And then you put 255 across the board here. And then you find out that slash, right, slash 19 here, you figure out how many in that is. And then you use this to figure out what number are you going to increment by. Right, so if we did a new problem, that 23, Let's us know that 23 is here. So these would be 255, 255, and then this would be whatever. And then we'll do 0, 1, 254, 255. And then we'll figure this out by incrementing by um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in, right? So it would be a 2. We would increment by 2s up to 77, right? So we can cheat on this one, actually. This is a good one to cheat on. In fact, we can cheat on a lot of them, right? So 0, 1, 254, 255. Right. So we want to get 77, incrementing by twos. Are we really going to go all the way up to 77, counting by twos? No. We know that every number here goes into the next number up. So 2 goes into 4, 4 goes into 8, 8 goes into 16, 32 goes into 64, but you know, 4 also goes into 32. So we'll just get from 2 to straight to 64, and then count by twos there. So uh, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, right? So this here will be 76. And then when we jump two more, it'll be 78. So this will be 77. Same here. And this will be 76, right? So we'll just show them all, right? So 77, 77, we had that right, 76, 76, and 0, 1, 2, 5, 4. And then these were 2, 5, 5, so these were like pretty much like gimmies, right? So that's how that's done, super fast. If you can get this down, um, all you really need to know is how to, how to write this out, how to write this out, and then how to do addition. That's pretty much it. That's all you got to do. If you appreciated the information in this video, please go ahead and click like down below, share it with your friends, and also please consider subscribing to my channel so that way you can get notifications as I put new content out there on YouTube. Thank you.